On today's episode of Hearing Tech News with Mark Trong, we'll be looking at the Nihira IQ Buds Max and Apple AirPod Pros, seeing how they compare and seeing how do they stack up in comparison to a traditional hearing aid. So if you're interested in finding out more information about hearable products and hearing aids, please hit the subscribe button and stick around to this full video. What separates these guys from other truly wireless earbuds is their ability to customize the transparency or pass-through mode to your hearing loss. So for instance, if you have a mild to moderate hearing loss and you're not really ready to get a hearing aid, it just isn't a consideration at the moment, I would highly recommend checking one of these out. Just for a bit of context, the New Hero IQ Bud Squared Max retail for $399 with regular discounts down to $359, whilst the Apple AirPod Pros retail for $249, but I've definitely seen them in sale for close to $200. So if you're really strapped for cash and on an iPhone, AirPod Pros might be a better option for you. To be upfront with you, through all my testing of the features and the sound quality, the Apple AirPod Pros are really my favorite, even though I use a Samsung phone. And if you are somebody who likes a quick and easy solution, which you don't have to fiddle around much with to make it sound good, I think these are a fantastic option. The new Hero IQ Buds Max definitely give a bit more control in terms of setup, noise reduction, and things like that. But overall, in terms of sound quality and ease of use, especially if you're using an iPhone, these take the cake for me. All right, so the five main features that we're gonna be looking at today is look and feel, ease of use, music quality, sound amplification, like how well they perform as hearing aids, battery life, and the charging case. In terms of look and feel, these are quite dissimilar. The AirPod Pros has a very long stem, whilst the New Hero IQ Buds Max have a really big body. I found that you do need quite a big ear to fit this well, but for me it fits pretty well and stays in there pretty snug. In terms of the AirPod Pros, I find that these are really, really comfortable. They don't put any pressure on the ear as they're sitting more in that kind of bowl of your ear, but depending on the size of your ear and your ear canal, your mileage may vary. One of the real drawbacks to hearable products like these is you don't get the custom fit which comes with traditional hearing aids. With hearing aids, they individually fit to your ear so that the wire is the exact length for your ear and the dome is the right size for you. Unfortunately, although you can change the different tips on the Max and the Pros, they just don't fit as well as traditional hearing aids. Secondly, in terms of ease of use and connectivity, the new Hero IQ Buds Max can be connected and set up on both Android and iPhone, whilst the Apple AirPod Pros have to be set up on an iPhone. If you do have an Android phone, you're able to set it up on somebody else's iPhone and then continue to use it on your Android. One drawback though is that you won't have any control over the amount of amplification that you get. So if you're going into a lot of changing environments and you do have an Android phone, you may want to look at the new Hero IQ Buds. Apple has really done an amazing job at getting connectivity amazing with the iPhone. It connects immediately. When you pull it out of your ear, it automatically pauses music and it just works. Unfortunately, I just can't say the same for the IQ Buds. I found that the stability of the connection is pretty good and I didn't really experience any drop-offs. One thing though, I found their usability really confusing. Like you can play music on them, but if you take out the right ear, it stops music streaming. However, it doesn't pause music. You're able to resume playing on your left earbud when it's in without the right earbud. But if you just have the right one in, it doesn't work. And in order to get amplification, you have to have both ears in. In comparison with AirPod Pros, you can have one ear in, both ears in, whichever ear you want in. And to switch between amplification and no amplification, all you have to do is hold on the stem. I really think Nuhura has to do a better job in making it more intuitive before I can recommend it to everyone. I think Apple has really done a great job at finding out what people need and streamlining it into a simple and elegant solution. With the simple and elegant solution, it does come with the drawback of not having all the user controls of the new heroes, but I think new heroes still have to do a better job at it.
Thirdly, in terms of music quality, I know you'll be happy either one you go with. I found that the AirPods have slightly better low end, whilst the new Cura's have slightly better mid and high end with a bit more clarity there. But with a bit of tweaking on the equalizers, I bet you'll be happy with either one you go with. They're definitely a lot better than any hearing aid in terms of music quality, but that's to be expected, especially given that the speakers are this size on hearing aids versus this size on hearables. So especially music quality is a high priority for you. You won't go wrong with either one of these. In terms of battery life, they're both pretty similar with the new heroes clocking in at around 5 to 8 hours depending on how much streaming you're doing and the AirPod Pros coming in at around 3 to 5 hours. Both the charging cases will get you around 3 to 4 charges which should last, they say, around 18 to 20 hours. This is one of the major drawbacks to hearable products versus hearing aids that you can only use them for mainly situational uses and you can't leave them on all day long. Traditional hearing aids like the Cygnus Aladu X or the Phonak Paradise last for anywhere from 20 to 24 hours, really allowing you to hear things all day long. Also, the charging case on the AirPod Pros are significantly smaller, making them much more pocketable. Now, this brings us into how well they perform as hearing aids. From testing done by both Hearing Tracker and Dr. Cliff AUD, with a bit of tweaking, they both perform really well for mild losses and perform pretty good when it comes to more moderate losses. In terms of pure sound quality, I definitely much prefer the AirPod Pros. I found that because the vent is much larger with the pass-through, you get a lot more of that natural bass response whilst removing a lot of that occlusion effect, which is what happens when you plug up your ears and you can hear that bass in your voice a lot louder. Louder. I also found that whilst the new Cura's were very speech heavy, the AirPods had a much more natural frequency response across the whole spectrum. The Apple have really impressed me. For a secondary function for one of the best selling products, I'm really impressed at how natural it sounds, how well it performs, especially with some tweaking, and just how easy it is to use, especially with an iPhone. It's a real shame that they don't have all those additional controls which are available for the new heroes, but automatically I've really found that they do work really well. So if you already have iPod Pros and iPhone, I would highly recommend following the tutorial and setting up headphone accommodations. And if you're somebody who really loves that granular control and that ability to really control things like directionality, speech and noise and things like that, I would highly recommend also checking out the new hero IQ Bud Squared Max. So thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Hearing Tech News Mark Trong. I really appreciate all your time. Please leave any questions or queries down in the comments below. And also check out my previous review of the Signia Stylodo X hearing aids, which are super sleek. They come in an Apple AirPod-like case, which is super cool. They last for 18 to 24 hours and are a super stylish, fantastic option if you're looking for something with all day battery life and a bit more power if you have a slightly worse hearing loss. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.